you so much for coming on Daytime Buffalo virtually, Melody Thomas Scott. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to meet and talk with you. Okay, so you are one on Young and the Restless. That show has been on forever. We know it. We love it. And now you are coming back to Western New York and gracing us with your presence in Jamestown, right? I am. uh, And the show just celebrated its 50th anniversary on the air, which is incredible. I'm coming back to Jamestown, uh, which is near and dear to my heart. I'm a huge Lucille Ball fan. Mm -hmm. and uh, have been involved in several projects in Jamestown in the past. I was a board member on the Lucy Desi Museum. uh, We've done a lot for the city. And when I heard about the Lucille Ball Little Theater needing funds, uh, they they need repairs, and it's a beautiful theater. So I wanted to help, and I was going to be in New York City the weekend before anyway, so... It just kind of made sense to stop through Jamestown, put on a show, (laughs) and uh, the the VIP cocktail event, unfortunately, is now sold out. But there are plenty of tickets left for the actual event at 730 in the theater. So like you mentioned, you're coming to Jamestown to, uh, for Lucille Ball's Little Theater as a benefit. Um, yes. You guys are working on that. Now, viewers, we've taken you there. We've been to Jamestown. We've taken you to see the Lucy Desi Museum. We know how incredible it is and such an honor. And like you said, you are, you know, on the board, right, for the museum? Well, I was. Um, um, but it's so odd, Chelsea. I've been a lifelong I Love Lucy fan and didn't realize until I first came to Jamestown, I think in 2000, that my mother's parents grew up there, Swedish, um, just like Lucy. (laughs) And uh, so I have family in Jamestown. I have family in Lakeview Cemetery where Lucy is buried. So I I have a double connection with it. it it's so odd. So um, it it's like my home away from home. So I'm really excited to see all my friends there and uh, excited to raise money for the theater. I'm also donating uh, copies of my book that uh, I guess it was released in 2020. I had the very bad timing of releasing a book during a pandemic. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get to do the fun book tour or any of that, but um, they'll be for sale in the lobby. All 100% of the proceeds go to the theater. It's uh, truly a benefit. Nobody's making any money, except hopefully we'll get a lot of money for the theater. What can we expect to see and experience at this benefit for our viewers who may be thinking about stopping by? Um, well, you'll see me. I mean, it is kind of <laughs> all me, which makes me a little uncomfortable. It's all me all the time. Uh, just uh, kind of a sneak retrospective of my career, my time on YNR, lots of still photos they've never seen, lots of video clips they've probably never seen. And uh, we'll be taking questions from the audience. There will be a time to take photos of me. Uh, oh, God, see, I'm so sick of talking about me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I think they'll enjoy it. And obviously, f- celebrating a 50th anniversary of Young and the Restless, what does it mean to you to be on such an incredible, historic, long-running show that has touched so many people for five decades? So blessed. It is a unique experience very few actors get to appreciate. Um, Very few actors get to be on a show. I've been on the show almost 45 years, which is unheard of for an actor. Uh, Such a blessing. Um, I I feel so fortunate to have that fate brought me together with this show. I I met my husband through this show. I have my children because of this show. So it really impacted my life a great deal when I got this part in 1979, (laughs) when I didn't even want to take the part because I had already gotten another sitcom pilot with another network and of course when I heard the word sitcom I thought well I want to do that because I am a frustrated comedian I'm a frustrated Lucille Ball and I (laughs) wanted to be funny on that show and then I got Young and Restless the same week and my agent said well uh, I said well I want to do the sitcom she said no 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 she said she she worked really hard to try to convince me 
oh, it's only a three-year contract. It'll be good for you. You know, a stable paycheck, which is huge for an actor, mm -hmm. for three years. And she worked and worked and worked on me. And I finally said, okay. But um, as it happened, the pilot never sold. So it never became a series. So she Everything happens for a reason. Perfection, absolutely. You know, always listen to your agent. After that, that that's my credo. <laughs> <laughs> and my last question for you is what part of yourself do you, or what part of Lucy do you see in yourself? A lot of people think I'm funny. I'm not saying I'm funny, but um, I try to be funny. I, I love the slapstick that Lucy is so expert at. I love, I, I mean, really, just don't get me started on I Love Lucy because I will carry on about that the unique four actors involved, the unique writing team that they had, and so lucky to have Desi Arnaz, who was instrumental in so much. That was a unique group that really has never happened to that degree since. And I Love Lucy is on at some time all over the world every day. Mm -hmm. uh, so that speaks volume for a show that started in 1951. But was funny. what was funny then? is still funny today. Absolutely. When and where is this benefit happening? It. Oh, I'm sorry. That's very important, isn't it? It is uh, Tuesday the 15th in Jamestown, New York at the Lucille Ball Little Theater of Jamestown. And I do have, so I don't make a mistake, if they want to get tickets, they can go to www.lb ltj.com and that stands for lucille ball little theater of jamestown all righty thank you so much for talking with us melody and we can't wait to welcome you with open arms in western new york thank you me too